So we chose to grade the Spider-Man movies and our grading system is that however much the actors get paid is 40% and then however much the actors of the villains get paid is 10% and then our box office income will be weighed 25% and the amount of video games copy sold is 10% and our Rotten Tomato ratings will be 5% and then the movie budget will be 10%. So to explain our equations just like for the first one, so the main actor of Spider-Man, he got paid four million, so that ended up being a four in our equation, and we use that same system throughout the rest of the numbers. So in the millions, they would just be the single digit, or just the without the bunch of zeros at the end. So as you can see in the same equation for the actor, for the villain actor, he was paid five million, so that just ended up being a five in our equation. And for the box office income, that was $227.71 million. So that just ended up being 227.71. And then for, the nat for that, the copy sold were 2.1 million. So it ended up being a 2.1 in our equation. <clears throat> and then for Rotten Tomatoes, it was 90, 90%. Uh, so we just left it as 90%. And then for our movie budget, it was 139 million. So we just left those equations with single digits without the zeros in the end to save us the numbers and the complexity of it. But that we use the same system for all the different equations. But for all of them are different depending on the actor, the villain, the movie income, Rotten Tomatoes, movie budget, and the copy sold of the video games. Okay, so like Andrea was saying, for the first Spider-Man movie, uh, Tobey Maguire was paid four million, so 40% times four plus 10 times five for the five million the villains were paid, uh, plus 25 times, or sorry, 25% times eight eight hundred twenty-seven point seven one for the, which was the box office income, uh, plus 10 times, or 10% times 2.1, which was 2.1 uh, copy sold, uh, plus point, uh, plus 5%, times 90 for the 90 percent uh Rotten tomato score and 10 uh 10 percent times 139 for the uh 139 million uh budget which is a total of 227.64 and then for spider-man 2 uh 40 percent times 4 for the actors uh 10 uh 10 percent times 2.5 for the villain villains budget or pay uh 25 or uh, percent times seven uh 794.7 uh plus five percent times 93 for the copy sold and the uh, 10 uh 10 percent times 200 for the movie budget which uh totals 273.03 and for the spider-man movie or sorry for the third one uh it's gonna be 40 percent times four for the Actor pay, uh, plus ten, uh, ten percent times six for the villains, uh, plus twenty five percent times eight hundred ninety five for the box office income, and plus uh ten percent times two point four for the copy sold, plus five percent times ninety seven for the Rotten Tomato score, and ten percent times two hundred fifty for the movie budget, which gives a total of one thousand four hundred thirty eight. So out of those three, the Spider-Man three uh, has the highest score, and all the like the numbers are in the millions. All right. So for the first Marvel Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man: Homecoming, Tom Holland was paid one point five million. So it was forty percent times one point five, plus twenty five percent times eight hundred eighty point two, plus ten percent times two thousand three hundred twenty three, plus ten percent times thirty three plus 5% times 92, plus 10% times 175, which gives us a total of 519.75 for that movie. And then moving on to Spider-Man No Way Home, it's 40% um, times 10, plus 10% times 2,323, plus 25% times 1.91, plus 10% times zero, and then plus 5% times 93 plus 10% times 200, which, give, which gives us a total of 303.28 for that one. And then for the final movie of the Spider-Man Marvel movies, 
so far, I guess, would be Spider-Man Far From Home, and that'll be 40% times 4 plus 10% times 2,323 plus 25% times 1.132 plus 10% times 13.2 plus 5% times 90 plus 10% times 160, which gives us a total of 64.03 for that one.